take 3.5 ish I guess because I'm gonna back up um, <clears throat> well I guess only to the beginning of this paragraph um, I don't like to interact much with people at all anymore because I'm tired of fighting I'm tired of inequity and I'm tired of my lack of geosocial mobility um, I mentioned earlier we may have been poor but I did a lot of traveling uh, I don't like to be in one place and I have lived in this house for too long um, and I've lived in this town for too long and I haven't left it often enough. I especially don't like to interact with people who live in my neighborhood. The version of me they seemed to like best was the bizarre Susie homemaker play I put on when coerced by the white supremacist mother of the friend who I hoped would become my non-exclusive life partner um, after my divorce, uh, who I mortgaged a house with. And there will be more about that later because it becomes relevant. Um, this woman, without permission, with, without even asking, nailed a birdhouse to the wooden fence of the least invasive neighbor I've met and convinced me to meet and interact with the neighbors when we moved into the house, which I had only ever strived to do when it was a requirement during my brief stint as a resident assistant um, during, under, during undergrad is how I wrote it. So in case you're not familiar with universities or university structures um, in in the dorms which were called residence halls at my university because um, trying to make it sound less less shitty quality of life if it's a residence hall then um, then it's clearly better than a dormitory no, they're the same. Um, So I, I did spend a year um, as a resident assistant, and that was also traumatic. Um, that was the second time I was, uh, well, no, that's the first time I was mandated by, have I ever again? Um, so I was mandated uh, to attend one therapy session. That's really useful, right? Right? Um, and so basically, my, my, my second time in therapy, um, the therapist spent most of the session apologizing for my first experience in therapy, for, for the unethical behavior of the therapist in my first um, experience with therapy. So that was cool. Um, and I only was mandated to attend the one session. And since that's the way the session went, I did not go back for a second one. Like I said, the first time I went voluntarily, um, was not until 2009. And so that would have been 2000. Um, so I went to two or three sessions and a half um, when I was 16. And then I went to one session um, when I was an undergraduate. And then I went several times um, when I went for myself. And then not only when I went to therapy for myself, not only, um, did I enjoy and appreciate that therapeutic experience? I recommended my therapist to my friend who ended up killing himself. Um, but he, I'm not sure if he ever did attend an appointment with her. I, um, that's obviously information that she wouldn't be able to give me. Um, but he did, um, leave me his email account and I'm I 
I was sad to learn that he canceled the session. Um, but I don't begrudge him his death. He tried. He did try to get help. Um, and he tried when, when he lived at home. He tried to kill himself when he still lived with his parents. Um, and he had actually been in an, um, he had been committed to a, a, an institution after his, uh, one of his attempts. So, refocus. Now that I've lived here too long, I don't have a non-rude way to tell all of my neighbors to leave me the fuck alone. Um, I, I've lived in the neighborhood for a long time. It's hard to say, you know, I just, I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to talk to you. It's hard. Um, and I'm toxic. So in meat space, sometimes it comes out really bad. Um, and we've performed such poor maintenance on the house that we will have to take a loss so big selling it that we can't afford to secure a new place of our own to live or let the house go into foreclosure with the same result. Um, so homelessness, yay. Um, I've had two people interested in buying the house who couldn't afford to um, because poor people and especially poor black people get shit on so much by our systems of governance and by their fellow Americans doctrinated by our farce of an education system and the religious systems of worship that, that privilege heterosexuality and monogamy to the detriment of the species. So, um, yeah, the people who wanted my house couldn't afford it, and the, um, when I tried to go through the city programs to do an affordable how to, housing sort of purchase, um, I was told before they even looked at it from my description that there was no way that it would go through. So, that was fun. Um, so I've been stuck in this house. Um, all right. I do not support organizations whose mission is suicide prevention because I support physician assisted suicide. So remember, I'm glad they exist, but I do not support them and I will not support them. No. I am especially disgusted by organizations that use false hope to prey on people by using their desire to live to convince them to accept shittier than necessary living and working conditions now. No. No. Don't use false hope to do that. Don't give people false hope. Don't give people false hope. And, and don't ask people to rely on slivers of hope. We need hope. Hope is good. Uh, but it should be founded in some sort of reality. Some sort of science. Um, because using false hope to prey on people by using their desire to live to convince them to accept shittier than necessary living and working conditions is a form of slavery. It is not... American chattel slavery, obviously, that's a different thing. And I appreciate, again, um, that, oh, I, so I mentioned Saran earlier. I haven't mentioned Crash Course. Um, I was really excited to see that they are amending their history, American history course to include a black American history section. Um, and so I, in isolation, uh, because I, I self-isolated um, to, to a very significant extent before the pandemic. Um, I've been in, um, I've been in self-imposed 
loose isolation.